Dumile and his grandfather. The afternoon sun was shining brightly through the leaves and making beautiful patterns on the ground. Dumile and his grandfather always enjoyed their time together. They sat on a bench under an old wild fig tree in the park. The birds were chirping joyously as they darted from branch to branch and others were hopping on the ground, enjoying little nibbles on the grass. But today, Dumile had many questions on his mind. Ever since his body was changing so much, he was losing weight, he was extremely thirsty, and he had to drink a lot of water, and then he had to pee a lot. When his mother took him to the clinic, they did some tests, and the tests showed that his blood glucose level was very high. But what does that mean exactly? asked his mother. They told him Dumile has type 1 diabetes. That's what it means. The nurse asked him many questions. And Dumile explained, it makes me very nervous when I have to drink a lot of water because I'm extremely thirsty. Then I have to pee a lot. It's most embarrassing when I have to go to the toilet and go out during class. They told him the different signs of what it means to be somebody who's diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. The next time he was at the clinic, he met another young girl called Portia. She also had type 1 diabetes. Together they learned that type 1 diabetes affects your immune system. It destroys the cells that produce insulin in your pancreas. And these cells are called beta cells. And this um, type 1 diabetes is uh, diagnosed in children and young people. That is why it was often called uh, juvenile diabetes. After their visits to the clinic, Dumile and Portia often sat down together and talked about what they had learned. It felt good to have somebody like Portia to talk to, especially on days when he felt like he was all alone in the whole world. Dumile often wondered, why other children were so lucky. They didn't have to be thinking about insulin, pancreas, or beta cells. The next time they went to the park with his grandfather, Dumile asked, Mkulu, do you think birds also get sick like us? Mkulu answered, to tell you the truth, I don't know. But I once heard there's something called bird flu. It even affected chickens. But, but why, why do you ask? It's just that Mkulu, I don't like the way my body is confusing me so much. And sometimes I just wish I could fly far, far away like a bird, said Dumile, feeling very nervous. Mkulu looked at him warmly. You see, you have to be patient. I promise you, you'll be all right. There's a lot that you have to deal with and it's a long journey ahead of you. But you're a strong boy. I think you'll be okay, believe me. He was looking at him so warmly. Dumile answered, I don't know. I wish I didn't have to learn so many words like ah, this insulin. He said, sighing so heavily. His grandfather said, you are going to learn a lot, my grandson. It is your other kind of homework. I know some of the words are difficult to pronounce. They're even harder to explain, even our own Isi Zulu language. But I promise you, knowledge is power. But over the past 10 months, Dumile had learned so much. Every single time he went to the clinic, he learned more and more. And he learned how to take care of himself. He was growing into quite a brave young man. Mkulu Nzama was very proud of him, especially on the day when he went to school and he stood in front of the whole school to address other learners and teachers about his journey with type 1 diabetes. It helped a lot that Portia, his friend, was also there. She had lived much longer with this type 1 diabetes. Other people learned about it. Adults and children, whether they were sick or not, their biology teacher told them, this is wonderful. It was the best gift they could share with other learners.
his mother started calling Dumile sweetheart. He would smile brightly and there would be a special light twinkling in his eyes. What a journey. Indeed, knowledge is power.